Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, Happy New Year. We are in 2021. What the heck happened last year? <laughs> I'm going to do something completely different. You're not expecting this. Usually when I do the Astro Oracle readings, I pull one card per sign and then you pick your ascendant after and your moon and you read those three cards together. Now, if you are going to be a little um, adventurous, you're actually going to get nine cards today um, because I'm going to be pulling three cards per sign. And in each sign, I'm going to talk about how do you be, how can you be at your best in 2021? What are the energies supporting you? That's what I'm looking for. So what energy supports Aries, supports Taurus, supports Gemini? So if you want to get super adventurous, you'll end up with nine cards and really sit with those. So I'm going to show you how we're doing it. And I will be putting the cards back in the deck every time. I'm using the Enchanted Map Oracle. We polished up my older decks and that one's going to be coming out again this uh, spring or summer, I think. Okay. So here we go. So, and I have practiced these and they're super accurate. So I'm excited for you. All right. So Aries, um, the first card is peaks of joy. That's fantastic. Rock bottom <laughs> and sad embrace. Okay. This is great. So here's what this is saying for Aries. Now, Aries, you're done. Like you're so done this, like this year you have come into this year wanting your vitality to come back and you are feeling so good about the fact that you have, you've literally hit bottom. You've moved beyond the lowest point that came up for you in 2020. And you're really entering into 2021 with having really dealt with or faced up to some of the things that, that you had to grieve looking at the world and it's through a different lens. It might've taken you a long time to get there. So the sad embrace card is, is about that beauty that comes from the grief that has happened, um, where you actually now have creativity that comes out of that sad embrace. So something quite beautiful is coming for you, Aries, as a result of you having been slowed down and then shot out of a cannon again at the end of last year. I mean, it was heavy. So for you, the peaks of joy is a feeling of liberation that the energies are going to shift for you in a really big way this year. So be prepared to also, it's kind of like when the, um, look, picking through whatever you demolish a house and then you have to pick through the rubble to discover the treasures. That's kind of what this card reminds us about too. rock bottom. Like you've hit bottom. There's only way to, it is to go up from here, but it's also what lessons did you learn that can add to the peaks of joy? You're having some serious epiphanies this year. Very, very good for Aries knowing that it has been painful for you and you may have tried to bypass it and it really hasn't worked. So whatever you have tried to bypass, now you're going to start to see that come up for you for its final embrace of saying goodbye to the things that don't work for you. So that is Aries again, peaks of joy, rock bottom and sad embrace. That's card number 33, 10 and 45 of the enchanted map. And that was Aries. All right, let's do Taurus. I really like this new format, Mark. Maybe we should just do this. I, I want to give them more. Do you want more, you guys? Do you want more? You want more, right? I hope you're going to join me because I'm doing something very cool for seven days and it's totally free. And I know so many of you, we had 35,000 people on the seven energies challenge in the summer. So I hope you join me because it is the new year, new you, but it's also the new year, new woo. So I'm going to share with you all my vision boarding secrets that I have done every single year since 1988. Okay. That's a long time. Every single year I have done a vision board since 1988. And although what I've placed on those vision boards have not come exactly true, certainly not always in the year that they happen, but boy, oh boy, they have come so true where the essence has matched the form that I do them every year without fail. And last year, actually, that was the only year that Mark and I did not do a vision board. So that was kind of interesting that it, um, maybe intuitively knew 2020 was going to be tough, but 
Now, uh, let's go to Taurus. So Taurus, I'm going to choose three cards for you. And again, the purpose of these three cards is to prescribe to you, you know, how you're going to be at your best this year and what's supporting you. I'm really looking for support. If there's any cards that could challenge you, I'll talk about that as well too. And what they, what gift they hold for you. Okay. For this year, because 2021 is going to be radically different. So education is your first card. I'm going to pull all three and then tell you the story. Okay. Balancing act and encouragement. So this one was actually in the protection position. Okay. So here we go for you. You learned a lot last year. So in 2021, Taurus, you're going to actually make commitments to learn something new. And when I say that, I'm talking about something tangible. Uh, so whether you sign up to a course or learn a new skill or something like that, your education is the focus for 2021. And it's really nice because you don't have to worry about being balanced. And that when this card shows up in the protection position, um, when I, when I talk about this in terms of the Taurian personality, as well as this particular year, and I did a whole energy prediction on 2021 on this, on the other, uh, video, which I hope you watch because I haven't done that in a long time. I used to do that for a living. So here we go. So now we're going, I don't want to be balanced. I want resilience. And that's what we talked about a lot last year that rather than looking for balance, we want harmony. Yes. We want coherence. Yes. But we want to be resilient. We want to bounce back quicker. So this is all about you learning to bounce back quicker. And you've already set that in motion, which is fantastic. You're surrounded by people and circumstances as well and your own lessons that you learned in 2020 to encourage you to get with this program here and to learn some new techniques, et cetera, and to apply what you've learned to your world this year in 2021. Great year for you to be encouraged to pursue your dreams, the things that you want to learn more about and not worry so much about whether you're balanced or not. In fact, you're looking for more resilience and bounce back than you are for balance. Okay. There we go. So Taurus, you started with education, which is card number 35. The next card was balancing act. And that was upside down in card number 11 and then 54, which is encouragement. So that's your three cards for 2021. So those are the energies that are supporting you this year. That's really nice to see. And the first card usually tells us what the focus is going to be for you. Okay. I know it was great. Aries was peaks of joy. I'm going to have a happy husband. No more sadness. Mind you, he's never sad. I'm the sad one. I'm the sad sack. I'm a little cancer. Wee. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Now we are looking at Gemini. Gemini, I'm going to choose three cards for you. That'll show you what supports you in 2021 and what you need to watch out for. If there's anything, let's take a look and see great slow and steady for Gemini. Not your most favorite way to be. Movement, ah, slow, steady movement. That's great. Cause you like movement. You like to move forward and oh, wow, these are awesome. These are fabulous. Okay. So you have slow and steady, which means that I think you've learned that. I think actually this is, you're coming in with having learned this lesson. So you see this beautiful fairy that's actually coming out of a, of a shell, right? So you're the magic coming out of the shell and you had to slow down in the past year, which we all did in 2020 and part of 20. 2021, you're still slow. So this is saying, Hey, I can still move forward. I can still make these beautiful decisions, you know, and, and get my ideas off the ground and, and really pursue my dreams. But there's no rush anymore. I don't have to rush. And if I slow down enough, then I have so much potential, so much potential that I can draw on. Like I re you really are wide open this year, Gemini. This is a fantastic year for you to, again, it's also favors by the way, too. When I see those three cards together, it favors moving houses too. Like if that was something you were thinking about, or if you were thinking about actual physical moves, like moving your office around or your bed on the other, like it's great for feng shui. Um, if you're interested in feng shui, we have angel Depara at earthluck.org. I love to promote him. We do our house every month, according to him. So that's earthluck, E-A-R-T-H-L-U-C-K.org. And he never expects this. So he's going to freak out when all you guys look him up. <laughs> I love doing that to him. He goes, what did you do? Okay. Now let's look at cancer. Cancerians. Here we go. That's me. What's happening? 2021. What can I, 
What can I rely on? Excellent magic prayer. Love that. Really nicely connected to spirit this year. Your prayers are coming true. Ooh, Cancerians. These are good. Yay, and we love to be at home. Okay, so magic prayer, intention, and home. This is for Cancer, card 32, 22, and 27. Uh, and for you, Cancers, or for me, a magic prayer is the, is the card with which we come in with, the energy that we come into 2021 with, and this is a renewed faith in a higher power. This is a renewed, you know, I'm all about practical spirituality and that's something that's important to me and personal transformation. That's what my whole work is about. But for me as a cancer, it's so true. I do feel that. So I hope you are feeling that too, any of you cancers watching this, but this is very much also that your prayers are being answered in 2021. So careful what you pray for, because this is a manifestor spread. Intention is the second one. And cancers, you should be taking the <laughs> vision boarding <laughs> uh, free challenge because this is all about how you're going to manifest in 2021. So intention, right? Intention is everything. Intention and impact. And you're going to hit home with your intention, which is fantastic. So magic, prayer, intention, and home. And it's also going to be around what, what you surround yourself, who you call home, your, the groups you belong to, um, the communities, etc. Really beautiful. Uh, if you're going to contribute anything to the world, this is the time to do it, 2021. Here comes my husband. Are you going to be happy? I'm going to be happy. You're going to be happy. We're both happy. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I like, looks good. I, I did we're like happy. my cards. No, I know. You sad. had sad embrace, but you were moving past your sad embrace, and the yeah. other card you had was what? What did you have, too? Uh, do you remember? That, uh, no, I'll have to go back and look. Rock bottom is what Rock you had. Bottom. Yes, you're done with all of that. Yes. That's it. You're done. starting done. From, you're starting with peaks of joy. Let's talk about you. No, I no, like I've this. said enough. I've like said this. enough. So, Let's yes, not join the me. challenge. Join our challenge. It's yes. going to be awesome. The it's challenge gonna awesome. is going to be so cool and, and honestly, fun. right? Haven't we had the best time doing our vision boards and we've got yes, every fun. single thing, fun, 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 including fun. the fact that we had we got stuck with two houses. Never put two houses on your on your vision board accident. Remember that we got stuck in Sedona? We left a house, got another house, it was all on our vision board, and then we had, to pay, board, and then we had to pay rent on two houses, we put two houses on our so vision board. So be careful, because the universe has a, has a way of playfully messing with you. So be careful what you put on those things. Okay, here we go. Now this is for Leo, okay? So you beautiful Leos out there. So far, I think these readings have been fantastic. Let's see what energies are supporting Leo in 2021, okay? So Leo is into the unknown, stuck in the mud, and heal the ouch. Okay, so Leo, you are a fixed sign. We know this, right? So you're a fixed sign, like Scorpio's a fixed sign, etc. You tend to be, you look at things and this is the way they are. There's a tendency when something is fixed that there's expectation something's going to continue to be the same thing, right? So that, that here, when you have into the unknown, this card tells us that for Leos, this is about letting go the expectations that you have had from the past and being super open to see what's there. And to be careful, because stuck in the mud is in the protection position here, not to get yourself overly stuck for because you have an expectation that things are going to turn out a certain way. They're actually going to turn out better because you're going to be able to heal the ouch. And heal the ouch card is the card of healing, forgiveness with others, building bridges with other people. It's a beautiful card that tells us that for you Leos, this 2021 year, you're going to get out of being stuck, okay? Go, as long as you're willing to learn brand new things and to try new things too. Like it's really about adventure for the Leo this year. And I think you're gonna celebrate that. But these are very, very good cards to tell you that whatever you didn't get a chance to heal in 2020, you will in 2021. And they may be the thing as well, because I like to read this way as well as that way, may have been keeping you stuck and that you just didn't know how to fix it. So this is beautiful for you. You will get all that information and more this year. And that's for Leo for 2021. And that's card number seven, card number 24, and card number 38 of the Enchanted Map. All righty, let's do this again. Isn't this fun, you guys? It's such a different way of doing it, but I'm hoping you will like it, and you're going to tell me anyway if you don't like it, but you will like it. <laughs> I just want to know if you like it. <laughs> okay, Virgo. Unexpected visitors, a little bit like uh, Leo, only Leo was jumping into the unknown, and you are going to have surprises. Oh, this is good. 
Yeah, okay, great. So here we go. Movement is the in the protection position for you. So this tells me for Virgos that you're gonna slow down again in 2021. There's a sense of being slowed down just when you think something was gonna take off, but it crystallizes the, the whatever it is that you create, that you attach yourself to, that you engage in, that you contribute is nice and slow. There's no fast moving forward. It's actually, wow, there's something going to happen right now. And I'm going to gain a real gift from this. See this, the talisman, the talisman is what you're going to get out of this year. Some crystallized ideas and like you're going to up level this year is what this is indicating. And you don't have to move forward to up level. You need more to expand. So this is more of that sense of of like, wow, I got this thing. I didn't expect it. And like, oh boy, I got to slow this part down so I can do this. And then I'm going to have this incredible gift as a result of it in 2021. So this is great for Virgos. And again, Virgo, just don't be so willing to jump forward too quickly, given that there's some beautiful opportunities that could land in your lap. You need to be aware that those are the ones that you need to pay attention to. And they may ask you to take a detour, in which case it's fantastic. So yay for you. Yay for Virgo. All right, let's look at what energy is supporting Libra in 2021. So let's go for Libra is wide open. That's fantastic for Libra. That's the first card. Second card is Wizard of Awareness. And the third card is the Ghost Lands. So this is interesting for Libras. Um, you don't need to learn the same mistake. Um, again this year, and you are wide open to do new things. You have to trust your intuition that you're, that if you are going to be, if, okay, so ghost lands represent what happens to us when we wander in areas that don't have any substance. Those two areas are when we come, when we become way too ambitious about the future and we only hang on or hold on to the vision of that future. And we don't pay attention to the things that we need to do today to get there. And so we lose faith because we start to compare that juicy future with our present that may seem brittle or dry. So you have to be very careful this year, Libra, not to go do that, not to go too far ahead of yourself. Same thing with nostalgia for the past. There are no good old days, right? This is, these are the good old days. So this is saying you've got to trust your intuition this year, Libra, um, because you are, you have so much potential that is different, right? This is again, trusting your intuition. Don't look to the past. Don't look too far into the future. Definitely set your intention, but do what you need to do in the now and the doors of potential and, and uh, incredible opportunities can come right here and right now if you trust your intuition, okay? So remember, when you, when you hang your hat on an idea about something and then something else comes and you're like, no, 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 I'm too busy. I almost did that. I almost did that with this entire career. Oh, don't come back next year. I'm really a singer. Like I would say that to people. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a record deal. I'm not going to stay doing readings for now. I wouldn't be here if I, if I, if I actually did that, <laughs> right? That's the same kind of thing. Don't say no when spirit's sending you a big gift with a big bow on it and says to you, Hey, you know, there's something totally different. I know you weren't planning on that, but guess what? And then you're going, oh, no, 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 because I plan on being this person in the future. And then you don't trust your instinct, which is saying like, jump on that one, right? So Libra, keep your eyes peeled this year for these great opportunities for you. Okay. Now it's time for Scorpio. All my Scorpio buddies, let's see. So you have sad embrace. And then next card you have is intention. And the next card you have is home, kind of similar to what mine was, and I shuffled pretty good. So Sad Embrace is the first card, which means that you are coming out of a period of deep grief, really having understood death of the old, transformation, which is really very in alignment with your sign, right? It's, it's very easy for you to do this. It's not hard at all. So you're coming in with great great wisdom to share with other people at this. Now your intention here is about sharing your experience, strength, and hope with others, because those two go together in that way and say, this one informs that one. So 2021 is a year for you. If you are at all thinking that you have a gift to offer the world, this is your time to do it. It's going to heal people. It's going to bring them out of their sadness. It's going to make them feel connected to each other. And it's really going to make them feel that they, they belong and they're at home. So for you too, this is maybe a first year in a long time that you feel like you belong. So this is a sense of, even though you're fiercely independent, um, you know, one of your signs outside of the scorpion is also the Phoenix that rises up out of its own ashes. So you're finding a new home and a new expression 
in 2021. So make your intentions clear about that um, because you too will be able to have those seeds planted. They will not come out of sadness. They will come out of your new sense of belonging to yourself. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Okay, now let's take a look at Sagittarius. Let's see for Sagittarius. Mark, are you enjoying this? Yes. Okay, well, he couldn't say no, could he? <laughs> of course you are, good. Good answer. Okay, Sagittarius, mountain, and protecting treasure. Okay, so for Sagittarius, um, do, don't allow 2021 to put you in a state of, uh, this is saying to be at your best, you have to make decisions, even if you're confused about which direction to go, just pick one. Basically, um, being un unsure is not going to serve you this year. Just like pick, pick something. You have so much choice this year is what this is indicating, that uh, making a choice is going to be essential for you. And it's okay to change your mind is the other one. So if you make a choice and it doesn't feel like 100% for you, then change it. This is the opportunity that you have in 2021 Sagittarius is that you get to choose and then change your mind should you need it. Mountain is fantastic. You will overcome your obstacles this year in 2021. Mountain is the obstacle card that says, hey, no matter what is in front of you, you're going to be shown a way around it, over it, under it, through it, etc. It will not be difficult for you um, to move beyond your limitations and your limiting beliefs this year, Sagittarius too. Now, protecting treasure is in the protection position. So I would say that you need a little more self-care this year. Um, so maybe, you know, your stress levels were crazy in 2020 and you're still not really trusting it, etc. I really want you to amp up your self-care rituals uh, this year because you, you need to be you and there's only one you to go around. And if you don't put the oxygen mask on first, you don't have any to offer other people either. So pay attention to your self-care this year and you're going to do great, right, Sag? Okay. Okay, now we're going to talk about Capricorn. So Capricorns, pay attention. Capricorns. Okay. Let's see this. All right, so Capricorn, you have, you're coming out of a period where, in this case, it could be a dry spell that could be in any specific area of your life. Maybe your personal relationships were kind of dry. Maybe you felt like, ugh, but interesting, dry desert is also the card of resilience. So you, I'm going to say that you entered 2021 more resilient than you did before. Okay. Now you have moved beyond the dry desert, right? So this 2021 is a year where you're doing a ton of learning. Maybe you're teaching something this year because education comes after movement. Maybe you're going to start to be able to travel. I mean, I'm sure we would all love to travel, but in this particular instance, though, um, we're going to use this more as a metaphor for the energy for you in 2021, although yes, maybe you will get on a plane, but ultimately it's about moving beyond what caused you to become dry and brittle. You know, maybe you held on to resentments that have long passed over their due date. So those are the kind of things that maybe you had to clean up in 2020 and you move into 21 brand new. It's like really saying, I learned resilience. I learned that I can move beyond anything. I, I can, I can experience these things. I didn't fall apart. Now I'm coming in with strength, courage, fortitude, and knowing that you can move forward. And again, education is, um, it's either taking classes, it's doing classes, it's learning specifically, maybe with a therapist, maybe with a coach, maybe this is really an engagement. Education is an engagement. You might be reading a lot more. Really, you're filling yourself up with things that you didn't know before because this is new knowledge as opposed to stuff you already know if you're learning something new, okay? Excellent. So um, I'm excited for you. Let's do the next one now. Let's do a reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, and Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, do not suffer from foot and mouth disease this year. <laughs> so Aquarius, you have the great fortune of being able to get into the observer. We know that about you anyway. You have an excellent natural gift 
as it is to look at the bigger picture and see the group as a whole, as opposed to the, the quiet, the, the, the one-on-one -on -one individual you see beyond that. So you're really in good shape because flying is the card that represents the observer. You have a good perspective of 2021 entering into 2021. And the spirit of place says that you are integrating everything that you learned last year and, and you can apply it now. So it, this has impacted you in a way that has really given you uh, the ability to um, choose the environments of your mind. You're getting more adept at using your imagination for good use as opposed to catastrophizing. So this is a skill that you have come with right now. Now the spirit of place as well too is reminds us that you also have to be discerning about who you associate with this year because the dragon's lair is next to it. So these are the groups. If you're uncomfortable in the groups, um, you know, you got to say, is this, am I still okay in here? Cause you might've outgrown a lot of people, places, things, etc. And so this is something you could consider in 2021. Um, because the dragon's lair suggests that, um, if you stay too long at a place that you know, intuitively isn't working for you, there is going to be some kind of price to pay. Um, whether it be you saying to yourself, gosh, I knew I should have left. I can't believe I stayed that kind of thing. So, um, it also indicates as well too, what you will actually have very good instincts on what to avoid. So if you think it's dicey, don't play with the dice. Okay. Now let's do Pisces. What is in store for Pisces in 2021? Again, these are energies that can support you, warn you, do whatever to really for, so that you can have your best experience in 2021. Cleaning house metamorphosis. That means nice change and wide open. This is great. So you have three cards that talk about change. Um, but they're not overwhelming at all. In, in fact, the cleaning house card lets us know that you can handle it because it's really in your personal environment. So it may be that you want to declutter and enter into 2021 in a completely different way than you would think. Um, but it really is about you making decisions about what has to go, right? Cause that's about cleaning. Then as a result of that, you realize you're still in the in-between because metamorphosis is a process. You don't expect yourself to be completely done or, or over everything. You're still in that beautiful mystical soup of transformation and you're not in any rush to get out of it, to be honest. Um, and it doesn't feel bad. It feels actually really good <laughs> because guess what? You're going to be wide open this year to experience new things and wide open also says that more will be available to you in 2021 that was available to you before. So that's very interesting to see how that plays out. And we'll of course be able to revisit this video next year at this time to see what happened? I'd love to get some of your input at the end of the year anyway, and we'll have some fun rewatching. We'll have a watch party. Okay, everybody. I hope to see you at our fantastic free challenge. The, um, uh, I'm going to show you all my secrets about how to do vision boards and Mark will be there too. Right, Mark? Yes, I will, man. Yes, he will. It's totally free. And I bet you any money, I put th some things in there that you might not have known. And it, even if you knew them, it's good to get refreshers. Okay. See you then. Bye. If you like this video, like my page, like the video and share it with your friends. And of course, leave me a message. I love reading them every week. Take care.